I'm generally uncomfortable when someone asks me at intermission what I think of a play. I don't really know what I think until I've seen it all. Sometimes my opinion changes hours or days after a play is over when I've had a chance to process everything I've seen. I enjoy thinking about the parts of a show in terms of the whole, and that's one reason why I like Lauren Gunderson's I and You, the current offering in the Rep Studio series. Because of a twist at the end, I had no choice but to rethink everything I had seen. The play begins with a fierce argument between two teenagers, Anthony and Caroline. He has just shown up in her room so they can work together on a high school English project about Walt Whitman. She had no idea he was coming. She actually doesn't go to school. She's confined to her home because of a hereditary liver ailment which has her on a transplant list. Caroline doesn't get many visitors and she needs time to adjust to Anthony's intrusion into her private domain. But there is no time because Anthony has procrastinated. The assignment is due tomorrow. Fortunately, Anthony is as stubbornly social as Caroline is prickly. No matter how much she resists, he isn't going to go away. Getting Caroline to let her guard down is a gradual process, slowed by numerous retreats into her shell. It's no accident that one of the major props is a stuffed turtle. Set by Eric Barker is filled with props, demonstrating how personal the space is to Caroline and why she defends it so resolutely. Little by little, Anthony's warmth overcomes Caroline's resistance. The class project strikes a chord with her because one of the major themes of Whitman's poetry is death, something Caroline has had a great deal of time to think about. Gunderson's dialogue for the teenagers rings true. So do the steps of their journey toward understanding each other in the staging by director Jane Page with Danielle Carlacci as Caroline and Reynaldo Piniella as Anthony. He has limitless charm. She's a coiled spring. The physical contrast between them is just as striking. She's small. He has the size and grace of an athlete. In giving him the letter jacket of a local school, costume designer Marcy Franklin is following the script. It says, the place is your town. John Wiley's lighting and Rusty Wandel's sound are equally well suited to the play. When Caroline and Anthony finally achieve intimacy, both Carlacci and Piniella add an extra dimension to their performances. That's not the twist I was talking about earlier. There's something else that made me reevaluate my initial responses to a number of details I had wondered about earlier. I can't say whether everyone will respond as positively to the twist as I did, but I still think the play would be worth seeing for the truthfulness with which it explores a budding relationship. And I'll be happy to see the play, the play again, even though I know what's coming. Yeah, I quite agree with you about uh, that it's a good play just itself. It doesn't need that twist at the end necessarily. It does make you think about some other things, but I would be happier without it, I think, as I would. I don't think we even need her illness. The interaction between the two is so great, although it's influenced by her illness. But good play, well done. Yes, yes.